Hello there. Welcome back to Max's Cards and Dice Dugout. This is episode 139. And we are at Yankee Stadium for game number 46 of the Stratomatic Baseball Old Timer Kings King of the Hill Tournament, which has the current Kings, the 1950 New York Yankees, taking on the 1962 San Francisco Giants. Before we get to the starting lineups, let's take a look at the Hill. Well, the Yankees are looking to uh, make it eight wins here. And the Giants, uh, they'd like to get this series back to Candlestick, where they would take on the 1965 Twins in game number 47. And we have the 53 Dodgers in the hole. All right, starting lineups. First, for the visiting 1962 San Francisco Giants. <clears throat> Excuse me, Giants. Leading off in left field, Harvey Keene, batting second. Second baseman, Chuck Hiller, batting third. Right fielder, Felipe Alou, batting fourth. Center fielder, Willie Mays, batting fifth. Orlando Cepeda, he's at first. Batting sixth, Jim Davenport. He's playing third base. Batting seventh is catcher, Tom Haller. Batting eighth, shortstop, Jose Pagan. And on the mound, batting ninth is Billy O'Dell. In 1962, he was 19 and 14. With a 3.52 ERA, 281 innings pitched. He gets the number one pitcher's hitting card. Now for the current Kings, the 1950 New York Yankees. Leading off in left field is Gene Woodling. Batting second, shortstop Phil Rizzuto. Batting third, Yogi Berra. He's behind the plate. Batting fourth, center fielder Joe DiMaggio. Batting fifth, third baseman Billy Johnson. Batting sixth, right fielder Hank Bauer. In the seventh spot is second baseman Jerry Coleman. Batting eighth is Joe Collins. He's at first base playing for the injured Johnny Mize. He will be out this game and one more. And on the hill and batting ninth is Tommy Byrne. 1950, he was 15-9 and nine with a 474 ERA. 203 innings pitched. He gets the number four pitcher hitting card. And we are ready to get this game underway. Keen steps into the batter's box and Byrne delivers. And that's a ground ball to Joe Collins at first. He's going to take that one unassisted. And the leadoff out is Harvey Keen. Batting second. Short stop, excuse me, second baseman. Chuck Hiller. Here's the pitch. And Hiller hits one right up the middle for a one out single. Makes the turn. But DiMaggio gets the ball in quickly. And Hiller holds it first. So Hiller's on first, one out. And Felipe Alou. And that's another single, back-to-back -back hits for the Giants. Hiller moves to second. And he's going to hold there. So runners on first and second with one out. That's going to bring up Willie Mays. Some early pressure on Tommy Byrne. Here's the pitch. Low and outside, and they're loaded. So Mays trots down to first base with the one-out walk. And the bases are loaded for Orlando Cepeda, Giants' first baseman. Pitch from Byrne. And that's a strikeout. Two away now. First strikeout for... Tommy Byrne, and that's going to bring up third baseman Jim Davenport. It's the pitch. And this could be trouble. Davenport hits one in the left field, and that's going to score a run. Hiller crosses the plate, and the Giants lead 1-0 here in the top of the first. And that's a fatigue point for Byrne. 
So the bases are still loaded with two outs. And catcher Tom Haller comes to the plate. Byrne delivers. And that's a ground ball to second baseman. Jerry Coleman, he fires over to Joe Collins at first. And that's it for the Giants. But they bring seven batters to the plate and score a run on Hiller's RBI single. And with one half inning in the books, it's the Giants one and the Yankees coming to bat. Byrne gets another fatigue point for the inning. And Billy O'Dell comes out here. Face the top of the order of the Yankees here in the bottom of the first with a 1-0 lead for the Giants. It's Gene Woodling, the left fielder. That's a fly ball to left field. That's Harvey Keene. It's an X check. He's a three, and we roll a two. And Keene makes a diving catch out there for the first out. And there's one away here in the bottom of the first. Phil Rizzuto, Yankee shortstop. Rizzuto lifts this one to center field. Willie Mays is under that, makes the catch near the track. And there are two outs. Yankees catcher, Yogi Berra. Odell delivers. It's a ground ball to... Orlando Cepeda at first. It's an X check. He's a three. Roll 19. It's probably going to tell us to roll again. And yes, it does. And yes, it does. And yes, it does. How about that? We finally get a nine. And Cepeda makes a nice play and just beats Barra to the bag. For the third out. Yankees go one, two, three. And after one inning, it is the Giants one and the Yankees nothing. Billy O'Dell gets fatigue point for the inning. And we're going to go to the top of the second. And leading off for the Giants will be shortstop Jose Pagan. That's a fly ball to left field. Gene Woodling's under that. Makes the catch. There's one away. Billy O'Dell. Pitch from Byrne. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number two for Tommy Byrne. And there are two away here. Top of the second. Back to the top of the order for the Giants and Harvey Keene. He's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch. He hits a ground ball to Billy Johnson at third. Fires over to Joe Collins for the 5-3 put out to end the inning. So the Giants go 1-2-3 in the top of the second. And after one and a half, it's the Giants 1. Yankees nothing. Byrne will get another fatigue point. And the first batter for Billy O'Dell here in the bottom of the second is center fielder Joe DiMaggio. Giants lead 1-0. Here's the pitch. And the Yanks get their first hit from DiMaggio. It's a leadoff single. So he's on first with no one out. Third baseman Billy Johnson. Pitch from O'Dell. It's a fly ball to Harvey Keene in left field. It's an X check. Keen is a three. We roll a 15. And that one, Keen can't get to it. It drops in front of him. So Billy Johnson gets a single here. And DiMaggio moves over to third. So Yankees have runners on the corners with no outs. And right fielder Hank Bauer. Here's the pitch from Odell. It's a ground ball back to Odell. Yeah, 
And his only play is to get Johnson at second. So Bauer's going to reach on a fielder's choice. DiMaggio's forced to stay at third. So now it's runners on the corners with one out. And second baseman Jerry Coleman. Infield at regular depth for the Giants. And that's a fly ball to right field. Felipe Lou makes the catch. DiMaggio tags up, and we are tied at one. So Coleman with the sack. There are two away. And this ball game is tied. Billy O'Dell gets a second fatigue point. Here's first baseman Joe Collins. As mentioned, he's playing for Johnny Mize, who will be out a couple more games. There's the pitch. And this is going to score some more runs. It's a single up the middle. It's going to score another run, I should say. Or no, excuse me. That is not true. But it is a single for Collins. And Hank Bauer is going to move to third. So now the Yankees have runners on the corners again. There is two. There are two outs. And pitcher Tommy Byrne comes to bat. Let's see if he can help his cause here. And he does with a two-out single that's going to score Hank Bauer. The Yankees take the lead. Collins moves up to second, so it's runners on first and second. With two outs, back to the top of the order, Gene Woodling, who is 0 for 1. Runners on first and second. Yankees lead 2-1. And that's a fly ball to center fielder, Willie Mays. He's under that at the track. Makes the catch for the third out, but the Yankees do get two runs here in the bottom of the second. And after two innings... The Yankees lead 2-1, and Billy O'Dell gets fatigue point number three. First batter for the Giants here in the top of the third is second baseman Chuck Hiller. Here's the pitch from Byrne. And he lines that one, but it's right at Jerry Coleman. And there's one away. So one out, nobody on. Felipe Alou, who singled his first time up. There's the pitch. And he lines that one, but it's right at Scooter. Rizzuto makes the catch for the second out. There are two away. So two outs, nobody on. Willie Mays. Mays walked his first time up. There's the pitch. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number three for Byrne. And the Giants go one, two, three in the top of the third. So after two and a half innings, it's the Yankees two and the Giants one. Tommy Byrne will get another fatigue point. Billy O'Dell's back out. First batter's going to be Rizzuto. Yankee shortstop. Scooter's over one. He pops this one up. He's got to stay in the infield. Hiller calls everyone off and makes the catch. And there's one away. Brings up Yogi Berra. Berra grounded to first his first time up. He's 0 for 1. This time he lifts one to right field. And Felipe lose under that, makes the catch. And there are two outs. So two outs and nobody on. Joe DiMaggio. DiMaggio's one for one. He singled his last time up and scored a run. This time he hits a fly ball to Harvey Keen in left field. Who makes the catch near the track. 
And the Yankees go one, two, three here in the third. And after three complete, it's the Yankees two, Giants one. Burn gets fatigue point. Number five. First Yankee that Billy O'Dell's going to face here. Or excuse me. That's not right. <laughs> Why did I give Tommy Byrne that point? Okay, hold on a second here. Going to the top of the fourth. So he's at four. And Odell, one, two, three, he's at five after giving up the two runs. Okay. So it is Tommy Byrne coming out here. Top of the fourth and Orlando Cepeda. Cepeda is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. This time, hits one up the middle for a leadoff single. So the tying run is aboard. And third baseman Jim Davenport comes to the plate. Davenport's one for one. There's the pitch. And it's going to be a fielder's choice. That ball went to third baseman. Billy Johnson, he fires to uh, Jerry Coleman covering second. They get Cepeda on the force, and Jim Davenport reaches on a fielder's choice. So there's a man on first with one out, and catcher Tom Howler. There's the pitch. Howler hits one off the wall. In center field, he's going to cruise into second. Let's check Davenport's running. He's a 1-13. to There's only one out, so he's going to hold. So runners are on second and third for the Giants with one out. And shortstop Jose Pagan, who's 0-1. It's a catcher's card X. Yogi Berra is a two. We roll a 13. And that's a pass ball, but it doesn't get far enough away from Berra for Davenport to score. And on the next pitch, Pagan fouls this one. Yogi Bear is over near the Giants' dugout, makes the catch for the second out. And that's going to bring up pitcher Billy Odell. Odell struck out his first time up. There's the pitch from Byrne. And he hits a ground ball to second baseman Jerry Coleman. He fires over to Joe Collins. And the Giants threaten but cannot get a run in. And after three and a half, it's the Yankees two, the Giants one. Byrne now gets fatigue point number five. Billy O'Dell, who is at five, is out here now. And he's going to face his counterpart. No, not his counterpart. He's got to face another Billy. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's Billy Johnson, who is one for one. And he hits a fly ball to Willie Mays in center field near the track. Makes the catch. One out. So one out, nobody on. And Yankees right fielder Hank Bauer comes to the plate. Bauer is... Bauer reached on a fielder's choice and scored a run back in the second. Here's the pitch. This one he hits into left field for a one-out single. 
Makes the turn, but Keen gets the ball in quickly, and Bauer holds it first. So, man on first and one out for Jerry Coleman. He hits a fly ball to right field. And Alou is under that, makes the catch for the second out. Bauer, of course, holds it first. It's going to bring up first baseman Joe Collins. Collins is one for one. Here's the pitch. But he hits a ground ball to Orlando Cepeda. And he's going to go to the bag unassisted for the third out. And that's it for the Yankees in the fourth. So after four innings of play, it's the Yankees two, the Giants one. Billy O'Dell gets fatigue point number six. Tommy Byrne, who is at five, is out here for the top of the fifth. And it's the top of the order for the Giants, Harvey Keene. It's a ground ball back to Byrne. It's an X check. He's a two, a roll of 13. And Byrne throws that away. Collins cannot handle his throw, and Harvey Keene is going to reach on a two-base error. That's an E1. And Keene goes up to second base. It's the first error of the game. So Keene's on second. He's the tying run. Nobody out. Second baseman Chuck Hiller, who is one for two. Ground ball to shortstop. That's Phil Rizzuto. It's an X check. He's a one. We roll a seven. And Scooter's only play is over to first. That's going to allow Keen to move to third. So there's a man on third with one out. And Felipe Alou comes to the plate. He's one for two. Here's the pitch. And Alou gets a hold of this one. It sends Joe DiMaggio back to the wall in right center field. And it's way up out of here, gone. Two run shot by Felipe Alou. And the Giants regain the lead. It's now 3-2. And that is two fatigue points for Byrne, putting him at seven. That got out of here in a hurry. Here's Willie Mays. Mays is 0 for 1. He struck out his last time, right? and he walked. This time he hits a fly ball to center field, but DiMaggio is going to be able to make the play on this for the second out. So two outs, nobody on. Giants lead 3-2. And Orlando Cepeda, he's one for two. Make him two for three. Because he hits a single that gets past Rizzuto, goes into left field. So he's on first with two outs. And Jim Davenport. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number four for Tommy Byrne. But the Giants get two runs on Felipe Alou's. Two run homer. And after five and a half, it's the Giants three and the Yankees two. And Byrne will get fatigue point number eight. Here's Billy O'Dell. And uh, I think that's going to be it for Byrne here. Bobby Brown's going to pinch hit for him.
here in the bottom of the fifth. And warming up for the Yankees is Whitey Ford and Fred Sanford. So we got two pitchers up. But right now it's Bobby Brown pinch hitting for Tommy Byrne. His day is done. All right. And Brown pops this one up. Second baseman Jim Hiller's under that, makes the catch. And there's one away. Back to the top of the order for the Yankees and Gene Woodling. Woodling. There's the pitch. Man, that's a strikeout. First strikeout for Odell. There are two outs. He's going to bring up Phil Rizzuto. He's 0 for 2. That's a two-out single for Rizzuto. So he's on first. Yogi Berra comes to the plate. He's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Odell. That's a ground ball to second baseman Jim Hiller. Over to Orlando Cepeda for the third out. That's it for the Yankees here in the fifth. So after five innings, it's the Giants three, the Yankees two. Billy O'Dell gets fatigue point number seven. And the new pitcher for the Yankees is Whitey Ford. In 1950, Whitey Ford was 9 and 1 with a 2.81 ERA, 112 innings pitched. First batter he's going to face is catcher Tom Haller. Here in the top of the sixth, with the Giants leading 3 2. That one's way outside. Lead off walk for Haller. Man on first, nobody out. Giants shortstop, Jose Pagan. Pagan is 0 for 2. That's a ground ball to first base. And the only play for Joe Collins is to go to the bag and assist it. That's going to allow Howler to move up to second. So there's a man on second with one out. And Billy O'Dell. Squares to bunt. And Joe Collins fields that, fires to Jerry Coleman, covering second. So they get Odell, but the sack bunt allows Howler to move to third base. And we go back to the top of the order for the Giants and Harvey Keene. Keene is 0 for 3. Man, he strikes out here to end the inning. First strikeout for Whitey Ford. Giants leave a runner on third base, and after five and a half, it's the Giants three and the Yankees two. Ford will get his first fatigue point. And you can put that there. And one fatigue point for Whitey Ford. So we go to the bottom of the sixth, Joe DiMaggio. It's a pitch from Odell. And that's a leadoff single for DiMaggio. It's two for three now. Makes the turn, but holds it first. And Billy Johnson's going to come up to the plate. Nobody out. Joe DiMaggio's at first. Here's the pitch from Billy O'Dell. 
That's high ball four. Johnson trots down to first. DiMaggio moves up to second. Still nobody out. Hank Bauer, here's the pitch from Odell. Man, that's a strikeout. Second strikeout for Odell, and there's one away here. Jerry Coleman. Coleman's 0 for 1 with the sack. This time he hits a ground ball to shortstop. Jose Pagan over to Jim Hiller. He fires to Orlando Cepeda for the 6-4-3 double play. That ends the inning for the Yankees. So after six, Giants lead 3-2. Billy O'Dell gets fatigue point number eight. Go to the top of the seventh. Whitey Ford's out here. First batter he's going to face is Chuck Hiller. Giants second baseman. Pitch from Ford. It's a ground ball to first base. It's an X check. Collins is a two. Roll of 14. Collins makes a nice play and tosses to Whitey Ford covering. Ooh, the one three put out, or excuse me, three one put out. All right, so one out, nobody on. Felipe Alou, Giants lead three two. Pitch low and outside. That's a walk. So Alou's on first. That's Felipe Alou. One out. And Willie Mays. Pitch to Mays. Way outside. Back-to-back -back walks from right Whitey Ford. And the Giants have runners on first and second with one out. Orlando Cepeda, first baseman. Who is two for three? This time he hits a line drive, but it is right at Jerry Coleman. He fires over to first, but Mays gets back in time. And there are two outs. Still runners on first and second. And third baseman Jim Davenport. Here's the pitch. Low and outside. Another walk from Whitey Ford, and the bases are loaded. Two outs, the infield remains back, and it's catcher Tom Haller. Haller, excuse me. I believe it's Haller. Ah, he hits a fly ball to center field. Joe DiMaggio's under that, makes the catch, and this remains a one-run game. As we stretch them here, the Giants lead 3-2. Ford's going to get his second fatigue point. And I'm going to take a sip of my soda. As we go to the bottom of the seventh, Joe Collins is going to lead off here. And he leads off with a single. That's going to bring up Whitey Ford. Whitey Ford is a number two hitting pitcher. So I'm going to switch this card out. And he squares to bunt. And it is a perfect bunt that rolls down the third base line. And it stays fair. And the Giants have no play. I 
and allows Collins to move up to second. The Yankees have runners on first and second with nobody out. And Gene Woodling, top of the order. And there is some activity in the Giants' bullpen. And it is Bob Boland warming up for the Giants. Runners on first and second, nobody out. Giants lead three to two. Here's the pitch to Woodling. And he hits a ground ball to second. And that is going to be a four, six, three double play. But Joe Collins is able to move over to third. He's there with two outs now, and it's Phil Rizzuto. The Yankees would like to get Collins home to tie this game up. Here's the pitch to Rizzuto. But he hits a ground ball to third baseman Jim Davenport over to Orlando Cepeda, and the Yankees' hopes for a rally are dashed. And after seven innings, it's the Giants three, the Yankees two. Billy O'Dell. Fatigue point number nine. And we go to the top of the eighth. And Jose Pagan is the first batter. It's a ground ball back to Whitey Ford. It's an X check. He is a two. We roll a three. Ford makes a nice play, fires over to Joe Collins, and there is one away. One three on the put out. And that's going to bring up the pitcher's spot. And Odell being at nine fatigue points. Matty Alou's going to pinch hit for him. And Bob Bolin will be the pitcher for the Giants in the bottom of the eighth. All right, so... One out, nobody on. And pinch hitter Matty Alou. And Alou hits one that sends Hank Bauer back to the wall. It's off the wall. And Matty Alou cruises in the second with a one out double. We go back to the top of the order, and Harvey Keene. Giants lead 3-2 here in the top of the eighth. Man on second with one out. Here's the pitch to Keene. And he hits a fly ball to left field. Gene Woodling is under that, makes the catch for the second out. And Matty Alou holds it second. And Chuck Hiller, second baseman, comes to the plate. And Hiller is one for four. Here's the pitch. He pops this one up. Jerry Coleman's under that, makes the catch. And that's it for the Giants. So after seven and a half, it's the Giants three and the Yankees two. Whitey Ford gets his third fatigue point. And as mentioned, Billy O'Dell's day is done. Bob Bolin is the new pitcher for the Giants in 1962. He was 7-3 with a 3.62 ERA and 92 innings pitched. He's going to face Yogi Berra first. And there's nobody warming up yet for the Giants. So here we are, bottom of the eighth. Giants lead 3 2. 
Yogi Bear, here's the pitch. Low, outside, lead off walk. Bear trots down to first. Brings up Joe DiMaggio. And Vera takes off. And it is a ground ball to Orlando Cepeda. First, his only play is to get DiMaggio on the attempted hit and run that allows Vera to move up to second. There's one away. It's going to bring up Billy Johnson. Yankees third baseman. Johnson is one for two with a walk. This time he hits a ground ball to Jose Pagan. And he looks at Barra at second base and fires over to first to Orlando Cepeda with a 6-3 put out. And there are two away. So there's two outs, a man on second. That's the tying run in Yogi Berra. And that's going to bring up right fielder Hank Bauer. Here's the pitch to Bauer. And Bowman gets the strike out to end the inning. That's the first one for Bowman. Eight are in the books. Giants lead 3 2. Whitey Ford back out. For the Yankees. Right fielder Felipe Alou is going to lead things off. Giants looking for some insurance here. There's the pitch. This is a ground ball to Phil Rizzuto. Over to Joe Collins. One away. One out. Nobody on. Willie Mays. Mays is 0 for 2 with a couple of walks. And it's a strikeout for Ford. That is strikeout. That's his first strikeout. There are two away here at the top of the ninth. It's two outs, nobody on. And Orlando Cepeda, Giants first baseman. He is two for four. This one he lifts to center field. Joe DiMaggio's under that at the track. Makes the catch. And the Giants go 1-2-3 here in the top of the ninth. We've played eight and a half. It's the Giants three and the Yankees two. Whitey Ford gets his fourth fatigue point. Bob Bowens out here looking for the six-out save. First batter he's going to face is Jerry Collins. Or excuse me. He's going to face Jerry Coleman, Joe Collins, and Joe Collins, and the pitcher spot. Here's the pitch to Coleman, and this is trouble. He hits this one down the right field line. Uh, Alou gets to it quickly and holds Coleman to a single, so the tying run is on base. That brings up Joe Collins. Collins is two for three. Here's the pitch from Bolin. And that's a strikeout. Strikeout number two. It's one away. That's strikeout number two for Bolin. And that's going to bring up Whitey Ford, but his day is done. Cliff Mapes is going to pinch hit for Ford. If the Yankees manage to tie this game, Fred Sanford will come in and pitch for the Yankees in the top of the 10th. But right now, it's Cliff Mapes pinch hitting. In the bottom of the ninth. It's a man on first with one out. Bowman from the stretch. 
And look out, this is a ground ball to third baseman. Jim Davenport fires over to Jose Pagan to Orlando Cepeda for the five, six, three inning and game ending double play. And we have a new King of the Hill in the 1962 San Francisco Giants because they win this one 3-2. Let's get the totals for you. Giants, three runs on... Seven hits. They did not commit any errors. The Yankees two runs on. Five hits. They did commit an error. Uh, winning pitcher is Billy O'Dell. And the loss will go to Tommy Byrne. And the Giants will take this tournament to Candlestick. They'll take on the 65 Twins in game number 46 of the Stratomatic Baseball Old-Timer Kings tournament that we are in the middle of. That's going to do it for this episode. If you hung around with me, I hope you uh, enjoyed it, and I appreciate you uh, spending the evening with me. I'll be back again with another video, and until then, take care.